This has been a tradition pretty much since we started PVMing on this channel, which is that anytime a new boss comes out, we try to get a no food kill on the very first day. And Vorkath was no exception. After about 14 hours of fun group PVMing and messing around with friends and figuring out a bunch about the boss, I decided I was tired, but not too tired, to try and get myself a no food kill. And that's exactly what we did. The Vorkath launch was one of the more interesting boss releases that I've ever been a part of, because there was so much that was extremely interesting and positive and fun, and there was also so much that was a little bit questionable, I would say. And although I will be posting a video on the full highlights from day one of the Vorkath launch, I think I'd sum it up here as Vorkath is a boss that has high potential. It came out a lot more difficult than I was expecting. I felt like the mechanics were fun and getting the chance to go in with 10 people and seeing the absolute chaos that ensued, it was really cool. And I'm definitely glad to see that it wasn't just another Raziel where it's really just a straight up DPS dummy. There are actually a lot of interesting mechanics. The movement is fun. The arena looks awesome. The voice acting, the music is solid. And I thoroughly enjoyed spending 14 straight hours killing this boss. But then on the slightly more confusing side, there were a lot of interesting bugs or inconsistencies. For example, Forkath is classed as a dragon for a Slayer assignment, but a Slayer helmet doesn't work, the Dragon Slayer perk doesn't work, and the Dragon Slayer codex doesn't work, but if you use Jass Dragon Bane arrows, they will work. A lot of weird things like that that don't make sense. And then we're going to talk about the most important elephant in the room, which is the loot. To put it lightly, Forkath's loot is just not very good. You've got an ability codex that is useful, but also at the end of the day, fairly niche. And then you've effectively got tier 90 ranged power gear because the tier 92 upgrade comes from Elite Dungeon 1. So for Hardboard Vorkath, you've got the hardest boss release in probably five years, and it doesn't really drop anything of real PVM relevancy. And if you compare that loot to the boss that came out just before this one, which is Raziel, Raziel is a significantly easier boss than Hardmode Vorkath, and it also drops seven different pieces of tier 95 gear. So yeah, the loot was definitely a head scratcher for me. When they previewed the loot before the boss came out, I was expecting that the boss was going to be extremely easy. And then I went in and I died over and over and over again, and I had an absolute blast learning and fighting this boss and taking it on the entire day. But the only reason I was able to actually properly have fun fighting this boss is because I'm an experienced PVMer and I also have a lot of GP. I don't mind spending 10, 15, 20 mil an hour to have a really fun time with my friends killing a new boss and learning it. But I know that I am not most people. I know a lot of people don't feel that way, where if a boss isn't rewarding, they're not going to enjoy it. And for that reason, I do think they're going to be taking a look at a lot of these things. But either way, it was definitely one of the more controversial and mixed bag boss releases I have ever been a part of. That being said, I'd love to know what you guys thought about the boss. Was it too hard? Was it too easy? And most importantly, what do you think they should do about the loot system? After a 16 hour stream, I just spent the last couple hours editing down some footage, and I also sent Jagex a list of all the bugs that I encountered during the day, so hopefully we get some nice little bug fixes and some changes coming soon. With that said, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. I've got a really short loot video coming out with the loot from 50 hard mode chests. And then after that, the plan for the rest of the week is going to be a whole bunch of guides. And I'm also going to sit down with Mod Shogun, who's the lead designer of the Vorkath boss fight. And we're going to be chatting with him about exactly what happened with this boss. So lots of cool stuff to look forward to. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Locked and loaded. Dude, that was sick. Okay. I think I learned a lot about good ways to deal with a lot of the mechanics there. That was cool. We've gone and done it. Open up the chest, take <laughs> sure. Are you ready? Did I win? <laughs> it's not good. <laughs>